In this video, we're going to look at the probability of an event not happening. So, if for instance I was to look at the chance of a team winning, losing, or drawing a football match, the probabilities could be 0.2, 0.1, and 0.7. Notice all these probabilities will add together, add together to give you 1. So whenever you've got an event and you've got all the possible outcomes, those outcomes, the probabilities will always add together to give you 1. Okay, so if you want to know the probability of something not happening, so if I said what's the probability of not winning, that would be the probability of losing or drawing. Okay, so if you'd add those two probabilities together, not winning would be 0.8 because these two add together to give you 0.8. Notice another way of doing that is to do one take away the probability of a win, because if you've done one take away 0.2, you get 0.8. So therefore, to find the probability of an event not happening, you do 1 subtract the probability of it happening. Let's have a look at some examples. The probability of snow tomorrow is 0.1. What is the probability of it not snowing tomorrow? So, the chance of it snowing is 0.1. So to get the probability of not snowing, you're going to do 1 take away the probability of snow, which is 0.1. And 1 take away 0.1 is 0.9. So the probability of not snowing would be 0.9. The probability of scoring is 15%. What is the probability of not scoring? Now, this time, because obviously you're working in percentages, rather than using 1, we're going to use 100%. So we're going to use 100% minus 15%. And then 100% take away 15% would be 85%. So that means if you've got a 15% chance of scoring, you've got an 85% chance of not scoring. The chance of rain is two-fifths. What is the probability of it not raining? Well, again, you do one, subtract the probability of rain. So the probability of rain is two-fifths. So we're going to do a whole, take away two-fifths. Well, a whole is five-fifths, okay? Um, so whatever the denominator is, it's going to be five-fifths, okay? So five-fifths, take away two-fifths, is three-fifths, okay? Okay, so here's a typical exam question. A box of chocolate contains seven soft centres, five toffee centres, and eight nut centres. Mary chooses a chocolate at random. What is the probability if she chooses a chocolate with a toffee centre? So altogether, let's work out what, what the numbers add up to. So seven plus five is twelve, plus eight is twenty. So there's twenty sweets altogether. Toffee, well there's five toffees, so it's five out of twenty. And because this is two marks, let's guarantee we're getting it by making sure we simplify down our fraction. So it's 5 twentieths, they're both in the 5 times table, so divide the top by 5 and you get 1, divide the bottom by 5 and you get 4. So the answer would be 1 quarter. In a bag of sweets, the probability of choosing a sweet with a soft centre is 0.4. What is the probability of choosing a sweet that does not have a sweet centre? Well, because probabilities add together to give you 1, you're going to do 1 subtract 0.4. And 1 subtract 0 0.4 is 0 0.6. So the answer would be 0 0.6. Okay, and finally, we've got a bag that contains 50 balls, all of the same size. 20 are blue, 10 are red, 10 are yellow, and 10 are green. What is the probability that a ball is blue? So there's 20 blue, and there's 50 all together. So it's 20 out of 50, or 20 fiftieths. And let's cancel this down. So if we uh, divide by 10, you get 2 fifths. So the answer would be 2 fifths. It then says, what's the probability that the ball is not blue? So there's two ways you can do this. You could do 1, subtract the probability of blue, so that's 2 fifths. And a whole, which is 5 fifths, to take away 2 fifths, would be 3 fifths. So that's one way to do it. Alternative in this question, because you know there's 10 red, 10 yellow, and 10 green, not blue would be the 10 yellow, 10 red, and 10 green, so that would be 30 out of 50, which if you cancel down would be 3 fifths as well.